How important do you think it is, President Carter, to, to I'm, I'm sh I know the answer to this, but to put women in, in political office all around the world? I mean, what kind of impact have, have you seen that have directly on the position of girls and women throughout those respective societies? You know, the United States is lacking way behind in the, number, in the number of women, so we're 78th in the number of women in local, state, and national uh, office. And, um, and we're just about that poor in the equality of women in getting pay. But I don't think there's any doubt that, that when women do actively seek public office and gain it, they transform their governments because they have uh, an overwhelmingly greater commitment to peace and to justice and to understanding. And they understand the social affairs of families much better than men are likely to do, even though if they are enlightened men and well-educated men. <clears throat> so I think that that is the best thing to do to improve a nation's overall economic and social and maybe even political status. Why does the U.S. Uh, lag so far behind? And do you think that we will see a woman president in your lifetime? <laughs> um, <clears throat> can I take my choice of those two questions? <laughs> you have to answer both of well, them. I'll answer both of them. Well, I think we will have a woman president in my lifetime. Uh, <clears throat> Care to elaborate? I, well, I have seven. Well, I have seven granddaughters, and I'm sure one of them is going to be president. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, in your uh, lifetime, President in, Carter, well, in my life. okay. you're a realist. I think we will. <laughs> and, and we, the United States has long la lagged behind because although we had, when I, when I teach a class at Emory University, I'm a full-time professor there. When I teach a class there, I quite often ask my human rights class, when did women get a right to vote in America? And I always, hands go up, 1920, you know, with the, um, with the amendment to the Constitution. And I tell them, no. That was when white women got a chance to vote. Black women didn't get a chance to vote until 1965. So, <clears throat> and, I, and I think, I think that that's a, that's a kind of thing that we have been slow in this country in doing. We have a wonderful country, of which I'm very proud, of course. But we have not encouraged equality in the political arena. And I'm really afraid that with this latest stupid ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court, that, we, that, we're, going, that we're going to see the quality of our, of our political system deteriorate further. 